I wanted to show you the the most easy way to create branches and keep you from making some of the things that actually cause trouble. So anyway, I'm going to take this polyline here and I'm going to put line the pipe at one inch. And there it is, it's one inch. Now this one here, say this was to be three quarter, we could be stupid, and that's what I have done before, so I wanna show you what is the problem. And say we want to make that three quarter. Okay, now we wanna put a T in here. So we go to the, Uh, spec viewer, and we want to make a T. Is this a reducing T right here? Half inch by 48 inch. Let's choose one inch by three quarter, that one, and insert it into the model. Now that's what we would like, and see it goes snaps pretty easily to the pipe it glides right along the pipe but as soon as i get to the t where i want it does this flippy thing and that's not what i want see that makes it hard you can put it in and you may be able to give it the right angle but then you got to move it and as you move it down it does that same flippy thing just stay away from that. And I'm going to back out of here and show you the easy way. You do not put your, you leave your, your lines in your branches. Let's go back to that spec viewer and insert it into the model. And we do this, this time, we just go right to the end point and boom it's in position now we are a little bit into the fitting and we can change that right now and now we could run our parts and we could run this to three quarter with no problem And you will see that it joins well. Let's see how our leakies, our leaks, see that has a leak there? And leak it in, but this does not leak. It's a tight joint. So if we wanted to put a fitting in a line, the best thing is make sure that that line is exclusive and all adjustments are made on these polylines that intersect. Okay, so that was a one inch, and then we'll make this a half, and this is a three, uh, three quarter, half, and then a quarter. Let's see how quickly we can do this. We want to insert a one by three quarter. Again, and see how easily, boom, boom, it's leaking there. So we want to select that line and do a part insertion of three quarter, line the pipe, and That's three quarter. So now we want this T. This is three quarter by half. So let's go three quarter by half T. Insert this in the model. And it again slides along the pipe real easy. 
and it ends up right on. And we simply turn it to the side we need and we adjust this poly, bring that to there. And now we have that poly, which is a half inch, and we can run that real quickly like so. Line the pipe. Okay, so now we got the half inch line. Now, do we have a half by quarter inch reducing T? I don't know, but we have a regular T. And it doesn't go down that far. Oh, there's half inch. And we can put that one in there. <clears throat> Insert into model. Again, see how easy it is to drop it in and orient it the way we want it. And we want to put a reducer. Now we haven't got the right reducers on this spec, so I'm just going to leave it at this. And that is the easy way for you to build pipe. One other thing is putting valves in. Let me see if I can find some valves. No valves on this uh, in this uh, spec. So, but a valve would drop it as easy as a T. One, two, three. So that's how you enter. Do not try to fight it. Learn to work with it.